The River Liffey divides the capital city. On the River Liffey is O'Connell Bridge, which we pass over now. This is famous for being wider than it is long. It is 5.10 in the morning and most of the residents of the Irish capital are still fast asleep. As we head eastwards down the River Liffey, we come across the Customs House and Customs House Quay. The Customs House was bombarded by the British during the 1916 Rising. It has since been rebuilt and has been beautifully restored to what we see today. It is by far one of my favourite buildings in the Irish capital and I constantly photograph it. As we head west up the River Liffey, we come to the other end of the city centre. Here we see the beautiful Houston Station building, built in 1844, and from here you will be able to get an intercity train or rail car to the west of Ireland. Some of the most scenic parts in the country are on the west coast of Ireland. One of my favourite locations to visit is the city of Galway. To the left of Houston Station we come across St. Patrick's Hospital. This building is very distinguished. Its yellow walls are reminiscent of the bright yellow walls on the homes in Skagen, which is a small town at the very top of Denmark. The yellow walls are used to highlight the sunlight that comes through during the day and the evening time, giving a beautiful warm glow to the buildings. As we head further west out of the city centre, we come across the National War Memorial Gardens, located just past Houston Station. These are beautiful gardens which have lovely rose bushes in them in spring and are well worth a visit. They are to commemorate Ireland's United Nations peacekeepers who have lost their lives abroad, serving our country and protecting others, as well as all those Irish men who have given their lives in wars and conflicts across the globe. Finally in this episode we visit the deer of Phoenix Park. Phoenix Park is the largest urban park in Europe. This is located on the west end of Dublin city and is home to many deer who roam the park free. The park is also home to the world's oldest zoo, Dublin Zoo, and also is home to the US ambassador of Ireland as well as the Irish president's residence. However, for security reasons, the residence of the US Ambassador and Irish President cannot be shown in this video. 
the park itself has a no-fly zone over certain parts of it and is restricted airspace.